right, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cut out your item um, out of this foam of the exact shape that you need. To give you a little bit uh, about this foam, it's layered foam. It has one inch layered foam that's glued together um, all the way down, and it's one solid block. So once it's in your case, it's just one solid clean block that you're able to cut down to the right size that you need. So what you'll do, first you take your item and place it on where you're going to want it in the foam. You can either do this while it's in the case or you can take the foam out of the case and go ahead and, and uh, trace and cut out what you want. I recommend that you lay out the whole case so that you utilize the space the best way possible. But since this is just an example of, and just a sample piece of foam, we're just going to use this little block. So first, put the piece where you want it. Take a Sharpie marker. There's different Sharpie markers that have some of them a regular one with a bigger, fatter tip. I prefer to use a fine, um, an extra fine point tip of a Sharpie marker. That way I'm not leaving big marks all the way around where I cut and you can see them after you um, cut out. So a fine tip is a little bit better, but you simply just trace around this item where you're going to want to cut. There we go. So I have that traced out. Next thing, you set that piece aside and you want to get a um, razor blade. I prefer the ones that have these long blades. There's different ones, some that are thicker that you can use or a, a finer one that's not as wide. I like the smaller one just because um, it, it's easier to get into small spaces. This one's kind of rusted out but it still will work perfectly. Uh, when you start cutting, you want to cut straight down, and you don't want to go, or I mean, you do, can't, you can go deeper than what you actually need. It's not going to hurt anything. Again, these are glued together, so if you go deeper, it's not going to matter. It's not going to all pull out. It's only going to pull out to the, the depth that you want to go once you start pulling. So here's this piece. I'll just start cutting it out. Again, it's not going to hurt anything if you go deeper. You want to cut on the inside of the line just so that it's going to be a nice and snug fit. This is a small little piece, so it's a little bit more difficult than, than some, but you can do any size. And you just saw up and down. So once we have that piece. Got it. This stuff cuts really easy. It's not hard to go through. There we go. Looks like I've gotten all of it. So I have that piece cut out. Now what you want to do is stick your finger down here in here to the depth that you want to go. So you just go down to how far you want to go and you start peeling it back. Now don't just rip it out because they are layers so you're trying to get exactly the same layer all the way when you start pulling it back. So there, I've got this. Let's 
Let's go to this side. And again, you kind of scrape it underneath, trying to get the same layer all the way. You don't just pull it back, you just scrape to the layer that you need. There we go. There we go, we have a perfect cut. You can set your item down there, in there, and look at that, it's perfect. If you wanna go deeper, you can. I leave mine just a little bit out for my blades, but this obviously can be used for anything. If you want, what you can do is to clean up even the bottom if you have a large area and it's not totally flat. Um, sometimes you can take this and take the top layer of this, take your blade, and just take off that top 1 8 layer. So just kind of saw it off. So you're just getting the top layer that you need. Go back to this side. the layer that you need so there we go and what you can do is take this and put it down in there and glue it down then in there if you want and it's a clean flush flat piece underneath there just like that you can glue that in there if you want but then your piece just slides fits perfectly down in there there you go another example real quick what we can do here's a I'll do this one real quick Screwdriver, let's trade. For the handle, I just went a little bit deeper because I know. So I dug down a little bit deeper on the handle. Again, I could cut that out if I wanted to, the top layer, but that fits perfectly down in there. There you go. Hope you enjoy.